What is an English word you have been mispronouncing your entire life? Okay, so this is more of a regional mispronunciation. I grew up in South Jersey outside of Philly. Everybody I know grew up talking like this. It's a mid-Atlantic accent. It's one year in Baltimore, Delaware, South Jersey, Delco, Pittsburgh. It's the one John Travolta tried to do in Hairspray. In school, I always heard reference to the Air and Space Museum. The Air and Space Museum. I was in college, probably like 22 years old, and I casually mentioned it in conversation. My friend said, what did you just say? I said, you know, the Air and Space Museum. Is it an A? They said, Sean, what do you think that is? I said, I don't know, I'm not a fucking NASA expert. It's named after some dude named Aaron. The F space. They said, Sean, it is the Air and Space Museum. Air and Space, oh. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? It's the Air and Space Museum. I, I like his accent. the motherfucker is. His name's Aaron. He's like John Glenn or something. <laughs> I'm hi everyone. My name is Chino. Come get those connections. In today's video, we're going to into a video that is called "I'm um, What's an English Word You've Been Mispronouncing Your Entire Life" TikTok compilation. Um. Like English is a second language to me, but I don't think I have a lot of words that I mispronounce. Um, if I do have a, a few words that I mispronounce, it's gotta be like it's gotta be like one or two words because I make I, every time when I say a word, I try to make sure that I say the right word and I say it correctly because I don't want to be embarrassed and try to sound smart, but instead like saying something stupid. So, but maybe I'm gonna learn a few things from this TikTok and hope hopefully maybe you'll learn a few words too. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please say so in the comment section below so I can find so I can find more, more of these videos and do more directions for you guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. It's an English word you have been mispronouncing your entire life because your parent says it that way. There are, there are many because English is my second language. I speak it very well but I didn't know like really the English until like fifth grade so I got bullied a lot. So cockroach I would pronounce it <laughs> cockroach like caca cockroach. <laughs> Nice. And it makes sense. Mom. I mean, it makes sense because they're caca and they're nasty. So this whole time, like, I thought it was cockroach, and my friends would laugh at me, and they're like, cockroach? What the heck is a cockroach? I'm like, you know, the bugs. It's some caca. Nice. It's what more, is an English word you have been mispronouncing your entire different. life because your parent says it out? So I'm um, Mexican, right? And in Spanish, my parents would call um, pomegranates. Granadas, right? Wow. And so all throughout elementary school, like pomegranates were my favorite, like fruit, I guess you could say. And uh, literally, like whenever I was asked, like, what's your favorite fruit, or like, um, you know, things like that, I would say, Granada. well, I like a grenade. And grenade. they'd be like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> what do you mean you like a grenade? And I'd be like, yeah, like, it's like red and it has like red seeds inside and it's like, like yummy. Like I don't. That's what that's what my parents call. It. What is an yeah. English word you have been mispronouncing your entire life because your parent says it that? Way? Poignant. My Soviet-born mom says poignant instead of poignant. And I know this is a random word, but when I was in high school, I was playing on the Chicago classical music radio station. And after I played in an interview, they asked me to describe the piece that I was playing. And I said it was incredibly poignant. <laughs> Anyways, I got some emails afterwards saying you should learn how to say the word poignant. Also, this is just one of many words I say wrong because of my Soviet-born mom, but I have a story attached to it, so. I just thought of a stitch question for bilingual people or people with foreign parents. So, I'm oh. not bilingual or foreign, but my partner is. He's Romanian, um, even though he speaks with um, a full accent. British accent. Okay. These are some of the words he gets wrong. So instead of onion, okay. he says onion. So instead of motorway, he says motorway. So this one's really weird. Um, so instead of Louisa, which is my name, um, he says pizza. Oh. Which they're nothing like. Yeah, the mutant uh, nickname. I guess it's as good as mine. It might, it might be a what nickname. is an English word you have been Even mispronouncing the onion your part entire down, life? Because your Some parent says it that way. Some people call it different ways. Porque no se dice pulo, it's pull over. It's pull up because to, to put it on, you, you pull it over. O sea, que no tiene, mira, que no tiene si, si, pero. What is an English <laughs> word you have been mispronouncing your entire life? Because your parent says it that way. When I was 15, my daddy used to do landscaping. 
and we were working one day and the weed eater ran out of string so he sent me to home depot with one of my uncles to translate so we get to home depot and we go to the garden side there was no string so i asked one of the guys hey do you guys have string for the weedle and he's like a weedle weedle I'm, he's like, I'm not sure what a weedle is. And he goes to ask some other guy. He's like, no, I don't know what a weedle is. And then, luckily, some other Mexican pulls up right there. And then he's, and then he's, he's like, can I help you guys uh, with something? He's like, yeah, we're looking for string for the weedle. He's like, oh, they're looking for string for the weed eater. The weed eater. <laughs> what is an English word you have been mispronouncing your entire life because you're one day my dad's building something and he sends me to Home Depot to buy something called Shiro. I don't know. I'm far from building anything. I Chiron. do nails for a living. I really don't know what he's talking about. So I go to Home Depot and I'm looking for it. Can't find it. Call my dad. Hey, I can't find it. He tells me, Pregúntale a alguien que trabaja ahí. So I'm like, okay. So I go up to a guy and I'm like, hey, I'm looking for something called Shiro. And he Chiron. looks at me like, what, what did he say? Sure. And I'm like, oh, she rock. Uh, I don't know what it is. My dad's building something. And he just told me to come pick some up. And he's like, you mean sheet rock? I don't... I can't figure out how to explain the embarrassment. <laughs> After that, I made sure to Google everything that they asked for. I Do still me? want to cry sometimes. What is an English okay, word okay. you have been mispronouncing your entire life? Hi. So I grew up on Staten Island and... Um, it's predominantly Italian, and I thought that this word was pronounced Mishkalans. I was making labels um, with my friends for our business, and my friend labeled it M-I-S-C, like as an abbreviation. And I said, ooh, for Mishkalans? <laughs> she was like, Olivia, what? <laughs> I don't She's know like that word. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. I've heard it before. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was Mishkalans, which I don't even I don't even know what word that is. It, but yeah. Before... <laughs> what is an English word you have been mispronouncing your entire life because your parent says it that way? I'm not a car person. Period. But my mom's dream car before she told me was a Rava. So one day I went to Toyota dealership and I started asking the car specialist, I'd like to see a Rava, please. And I've never been so embarrassed in my Rava. entire life. But the guy said, you mean a Rav for? What is an English word you have been mispronouncing your entire life? Jeez. Because your parent says it that way. I guarantee you the government is 100,000% behind the court. What is an English word you have been mispronouncing your entire life? Okay, so this is more of a regional mispronunciation. I grew up in South Jersey outside of Philly. Everybody I know grew up talking like this. It's a mid-Atlantic accent. It's one year in Baltimore, Delaware, South Jersey, Delco, Pittsburgh. It's the one John Travolta tried to do in Hairspray. In school, I always heard reference to the Air and Space Museum. The Air and Space Museum. I was in college, probably like 22 years old, and I casually mentioned it in conversation. My friend said, what did you just say? I said, you know, the Air and Space Museum. Is it an air? They said, Sean, what do you think that is? I said, I don't know. I'm not a fucking NASA expert. It's named after some dude named Aaron. The air space. They said, Sean, it is the Air and Space Museum. Air and Space. Oh. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? It's the Air and Space Museum. I, I like his accent. The motherfucker is. His name's Aaron. It's like John Glenn or something. <laughs> no, it is the Air and Space Museum. And here I am, some South Jersey jerk off, talking about this motherfucker named Aaron who don't even exist. What is I an like English word you have been mispronouncing your entire Cows. Cows. Like. Yeah? Cows. Yeah? Cows. Cows. What's a hill that you're willing to die on a thousand percent of the time? I'm gonna be more than happy to die on this hill. A thousand and two percent of the time. Everybody Loves Raymond is probably the best sitcom ever created. I will punch you in the n***a. to duet this video with your best methods to make creepy men cry. Yes, yes, yes. This method is called Baby Runs for President. What you do is you use your best customer service voice to ask questions of the creep that only a toddler would feel comfortable asking. Like the time my friends and I went to a dive bar after work.
and a guy who was definitely older than my dad came to sit at our high top with us. We were very uncomfortable. It was clear he was acting oblivious, but he knew. And for no reason, I whipped around and went, hey, how old are you? He was like, what? what? And I said, well, I'm only asking because, well, you seem a little older than my dad and I just got out of college. So I was wondering, do you have any grandkids? And I don't know if he cried, but he definitely left. Or the time my friend was getting manhandled at the bar by this bro -y bro. So I came up to him and I said, hey, what's your name? He was super drunk and spacey. He goes, uh, Jesse? And I said, Jesse? Well, that's a girl's name, isn't it? Now I've thrown him off his rhythm. Because gender is a construct, but he didn't know that. And again, I can't remember if he cried or not, but he definitely fucking left. As long as you're in a public space, run for president, baby. Okay, um, that was an interesting video. Um, the calf, the calf part, uh, when, when the girl said that she was mispronouncing calf, I don't know, she didn't say the word that she was saying as opposed to calf. So I don't know if, I don't know. But I absolutely enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, like, I thought maybe the words would be like, like the words that we use in a regular, the everyday words that everyone uses. But it's more like, like, it's more like words that like foreign people like mispronounce thanks to the, like because of their accent and all and those type of things. Um, but I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please say so in the comment section below so I can find more, more of these videos and do more reactions for you guys. And until next time, peace.